Hi everyone. Welcome to test your knowledge of English. Today I'm going to challenge your knowledge of using irregular nouns in English. Are you ready? My dears, there are 10 tests in this video. If you can answer all of them, you know irregular nouns and how to use them completely. And if you answer five of them or less, you have to try more to learn them completely and well. If you're ready, let's start with the first one. The first one is, which sentence is correct? One, two of the childs broke the glass. Two, two of the child broke the glass. Three, two of the children broke the glass. The correct answer is two of the children broke the glass because the plural form of child is children. And now the second sentence is Sarah brushes her tooth every night. Sarah brushes her tooths every night. Sarah brushes her teeth every night. The correct answer is Sarah brushes her teeth every night. Sarah brushes her teeth every night. Because when she brushes her teeth, she brushes all of her teeth, not one of them. And the plural form of tooth is teeth. So we say one tooth, now two teeth, three teeth, and so on. Now, the next sentence is, how many mice were there in the room? How many mice were there in the room? How many mouses were there in the room? The correct answer is, how many mice were there in the room? How many mice? Mice. Because after how many, we should use a plural noun, and mouse is an irregular noun, and the plural form of mouse is mice. So we say one mouse, two mice, three mice, many mice, and so on. So the correct answer is. How many mice were there in the room? Now, the fourth test. Which sentence is correct? Did you buy two loaves of bread for me? Two. Did you buy two loaves of bread for me? Three. Did you buy two loaves of bread for me? Do you know the answer? Which of them is correct? The answer is, did you buy two loaves of bread for me? Because loaf is an irregular noun and the plural form of loaf becomes loaves. So we should say one loaf, two loaves, three loaves, four loaves, and so on. And number five. Which sentence is correct? Five persons are in the yard waiting for you. Five persons are in the yard waiting for you. Five people are in the yard waiting for you. 
The correct answer is five people. Five people are in the yard waiting for you. Because after five, we need a plural noun, and the plural form of person becomes people, not persons. So five people are in the yard waiting for you is correct. And number six, which sentence is correct? A few women can help you overcome your problem. Number two, a few women can help you overcome your problem. Number three, a few women can help you overcome your problem. The correct answer is a few women. A few women. A few women can help you overcome your problem because a few pointed out more than one. So after a few, we should use a plural noun and the plural form of woman is women. Therefore, we can say one woman, two women, three women, four women, a lot of women, a few women, and so on. And now, number seven. Which sentence is correct? The policeman finally could arrest some of the thieves. Number two. The policeman finally could arrest some of the thief. And number three. The policeman finally could arrest some of the thieves. The correct answer is number one. The policeman finally could arrest some of the thieves because some of points out more than one. And after some of, we should use a plural noun. And the plural form of thief is thieves. So we can say one thief, two thieves, three thieves, many thieves, ten thieves, and so on. Now, number eight, which sentence is correct? Where are your fish? Where are your fishes? Where is your fish? Did you think carefully? Which one did you choose? If you chose all of them, well done to you. All of them are correct. If you want to know the answer, listen to me carefully. Fish is both a regular noun and an irregular noun. So, you can say one fish. Fish is singular form. But if you want to say two, you can say two fish or two fishes. Because the plural form of fish can become both fish and fishes. So, all of the answers are correct. Now, number nine. Which sentence is correct? Did he buy two sheep for his farm yesterday? Did he buy two sheep for his farm yesterday? The correct answer is Did he buy two sheep for his farm yesterday? Because the plural and singular form of sheep are the same. So we can say one ship, two ship, three ship, and so on. And the last question is, which sentence is correct? In some countries, the government forces women 
to wear a scarf. Number two, in some countries, the government forces women to wear scarves. Number three, in some countries, the government forces women to wear scarves. The correct answer is both two and three. In some countries, the government forces women to wear scarves, or in some countries, the government forces women to wear scarves. Because women are plural, so the scarf should be plural too, and the plural form of a scarf will become both scarf and scarves. My dears, the test is over. How many of them could you answer correctly? Please let me know in the comment. Now the last point. The last point is about irregular nouns. What are irregular nouns? My dear is irregular nouns are the nouns that don't follow the typical rules to pluralize them. Instead of adding s or es to form their plurals, they change their spelling and pronunciations. Like one man, two men, three men, many men, some men, a few men, few men, one woman, two women, three women, one child, two children, many children, a foot, two feet, a tooth, two teeth, four teeth, many teeth, a goose, two geese, three geese, a mouth, two mice, many mice, a few mice, one person, two people, three people, a few people, many people, one ox, two oxen, three oxen, one leaf, two leaves, three leaves, many leaves, one half, two halves, three halves, one knife, two knives, three knives, one wife, two wives, three wives, one wolf, two wolves, three wolves, one loaf, two loaves, three loaves, one thief, two thieves, three thieves, one ship, two ship, three ship, one fish, two fish, or two fishes, three fish, or three fishes, one deer, two deer, three deer, one aircraft, two aircraft, three aircraft. My dears, I hope you could learn everything about irregular nouns. I wish you the best and bye till next video.